So the Hexagravity Trolls just came out and it's a limited time game mode. In this video, we're going to quickly go through a few strategies which you can use to really help your chances on winning. So with that, let's get straight into the video. But before getting into this video, quick shout out to Fall Guys TV for the strats. His link will be down below in the description. So make sure to check him out. But with that, let's hop straight into the video. So first of all, the first strategy in this this video is super simple. For the first round or two, what you can do is that as soon as the round begins, you can already fall toward the bottom using the anti-gravity. Once on the bottom floor, just go around and get rid of as many blocks as possible. As the other players get toward the bottom floor, they will fall through and this will allow you to get the wins. Now, this may not work all the time as sometimes players won't go all the way toward the bottom and if this does happen, make sure you have some blocks to keep but most of the time this strat will work and I recommend doing this for the first two rounds as for the final round you're trying to gain as much height as possible. This is more like a surprise mechanic and you shouldn't really use it every game but if you can use it I definitely recommend doing so as it can really help you get through the first round or two. Some other things to keep in mind is that with the anti-gravity when you dive there actually is a delay between the time you touch the blocks so you can use Use this for the final round just in case there is not many blocks left so with the jump dive you can actually delay the time it takes for you to touch the block which can really help keep you as high as possible another thing you can do is that if you see a player is jumping a lot what you can do is grab the player for a second or two and after that just jump away and usually what will happen is that if the player is caught off guard this may surprise them and they may actually fall and this can be used throughout the game so I definitely recommend doing this to try and get through some of the rounds. Now for the final round the main thing you should be trying to get is the highest ground possible and the reason being is that usually the final floor is usually gone by the time you get there either other players doing the strat mentioned before or by the time you get toward the final floor all the blocks will be already gone so my best advice is to keep as high as possible and going slowly down with the other players try keep as high as you can but obviously go down with the other players and try to get some players out if you can if you can i'd recommend jump diving as again it helps you delay the game which can help you win more matches but this strat is really dangerous as if you're not looking the right way you may actually dive a different direction and if this does happen to you at the wrong time well it may cost you the match so jump dive onto as many blocks as possible and do this if there's not many players left if there's players left what can happen is that when you jump dive a player simply has to walk on that block and it can actually delay you meaning that you will fall so make sure you're aware of your surroundings when doing the jump dive and if you do that you should be fine but with that those were all the strategies in this video do note the hexagravity troll only has 23 hours left as the time this video is being recorded so make sure to hop on try some of these strategies out and you never know you may get yourself a win but with that that was all for this video if you guys have enjoyed smash a like as it does help the video spread to more viewers on the platform again who shout to fall guys tv for the original strat but anyways until next time take it easy and goodbye